bit late to this party, but this is funny, so I'm going to show you anyway. For those of you that didn't see Greta Thunberg's arrest, here is the leaked footage from some base journalist, you know, a journalist with actual integrity, who saw what happened and obviously thought, yeah, this isn't really an arrest, is it? Here's the actual leaked footage of Greta Thunberg's alleged arrest at the hands of the German Polizei. <laughs> <laughs> you also want those for you, man? <laughs> Wie sieht's denn aus mit der Abattstraße? <laughs> so there you go, big daft shit eating grin on her face, chuckling away, the coppers and the journals all having a giggle. <laughs> this is gonna be good. They'll lap this one up, won't they? No, no, we won't, because we're not daft. But the funny part comes in here when I'm sure long term viewers know the bootneck likes to troll a page called my favourite F word is feminism. The reason I went on this site on Facebook originally was a cunning ruse. I liked um, a few religious pages, you know, by the regulars at Alan's Legendary Snack Bar. Um, for those of you that don't know, that's another euphemism. You've got to use euphemisms when you're on YouTube because they'll ban you as soon as look at you if you dare practice wrong speak or wrong think. So <laughs> everybody's favourite desert god Right, I'll, we'll just leave it at that. I follow some of those pages to try and slip Zucker twat and Mickey, and I follow my favourite F word is feminism, and it turned out to be a gold mine. You know, I originally started doing it so I could rip the piss out of militant, purple haired fat birds in comfortable shoes, and it turned out to be a glorious gold mine of hilarity. So I go on there every day and just piss myself laughing at the inanity spewed by a collection of tens of thousands of women with less brain cells than Diane Abbott and her severely mentally ill son. And I, f I saw this corker today after I shared said footage with them. So there's my favourite F word is feminism. Just thinking of her and somebody says, Greta Thunberg, iconic. Andy Smith, she looks so chill. Matt Taylor. She looks chill because it was a fake staged arrest and she's a spoiled middle class white woman from one of the wealthiest countries on earth. And the response to this was brilliant. From Taylor Erdossi, I love that. I love it when trendy middle class Americans use surnames as first names. Taylor Erdossi. Taylor is a surname, it doesn't make any sense. If we got married, it wouldn't happen because she's a ginger and she's howling and she's got NHS specs on. But if we did, she'd be called Taylor Taylor. It doesn't make any sense. So, Snopes debunked that, but she is a middle class white girl. She just uses her privilege to spread important information. So, so Snopes debunked that off. Checkmate. Checkmate. That's me. You've done me, love. Oh, you, you've done me, love. Are you having a laugh? Snopes. My response to her, I'm just going to tell you what I typed. Because I want to repeat the question for anybody who's watching this, who also has the IQ of a sausage roll and thinks that's a point. Do you trust Snopes more than your own eyes and ears? I literally showed this dippy bint video, live footage of what went on behind the scenes. And she said, yep, Snopes debunked that. If a politician ran your mum over and you watched it with your own eyes and heard the crunch of bone with your own ears, but then the BBC ran a story and said, that nah, didn't happen, didn't happen. Would you go on Facebook and say, well, actually, the BBC debunked that? No, you wouldn't. If you trust Silicon Valley giants more than your own eyes and ears, you really are beyond help. I, I just wanted to share that because I think that's one of the daftest things I've ever heard. Anybody who's watching this who is laboring under the delusion that these websites can be trusted, why would you outsource thinking? Why would you do it? Why would you outsource that process to a website? Give your head a shake. If you can read for yourself and listen for yourself and see things for yourself, Start doing it, alright? This was a public service announcement. We're done. Do one.